All right, we should be going live here. <clears throat> Let's see, Let's just swap this over. Oh, and I totally forgot my avatar and to remove the viewer count. Uh, boop. Hype hey, bombs? I'm real. Right, I'm just going to remove those because if I try and do it off air, I will forget again. Here we are. Uh, apologies for last week. I had some stuff going on. Couldn't stream. Um, and this week is going to be a shorter stream because I have some more stuff going on this weekend, but I didn't want to skip another one. So here we are. Correctly, I think we're finally able to go to the to the synchronicity lab and get to the outfit. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the is to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. Probably gonna have to kill those guys. Sorry. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. <sighs> fucking lab coats, man. Love making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? Hey, excellent. You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers 
They retired due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. Yikes. Anyway, sorry about that. Tell me about thresholds. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends a rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. The lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. <laughs> Why did you ask? What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? <laughs> Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Mm-hmm. Of course. Alright. I'll be seeing you. Synchronicity was... Over here somewhere, I think. Fire is actually really annoying. That's not a feature. <laughs> I mean, it is a feature of the game. It's not like it's a bug, but I wouldn't consider it to be a useful thing particularly. Oh, maybe he's in the patrol. Maybe it was off patrol division. I swear there was a control point like right next to it. Or maybe it's next to parapsychology. No, 
Synchronicity Lab. Yeah, it's next to the Ritual Division. Okay. The map. It was useful for once. You're good. You made it just before I went into the mirror zone. Yeah. Why'd they keep an altered item here? How's it going so far? Uh, I just restarted. I, I think I just started, rather. Mm -hmm. I started a little late, too. And it's going to be a little bit of a shorter stream than usual. All good. <laughs> uh, but we're doing the mirror zone. Woo! Alright. Uh, lore. Debrief for a mirror excursion 7C. Subject is Agent Hardy. Hardy's I'll put a link on my Tumblr. Three hours Thank you. in the mirror. So mm -hmm. Mark is time on record. Can you describe your experience inside Agent Hardy? Agent Hardy is physically healthy. All tests have come back clean. Yet the speech issue has persisted for hours. Just reverse it. Calm down, Agent. It could be psychosomatic, but the fact that this only occurred after returning from the mirror makes a paranatural explanation more likely. I recommend a battery of tests and a class orange quarantine. 
I will have to at least not pop out, but like go away for a minute. Well, because I Ace is my dog is outside Ace. Ah. So I'll have to bring him in in a minute. Oh yeah, I can fly now. I forgot. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to text my father real quick. Boy is ready. He is ready to be let in. I'll be right back. There is a very excited husky in my room who is ready to watch your stream. It looks like there's a mirror in there. Uh-huh. I love this area so much. It's so much fun. So I just changed out of my work pants into some shorts, and I think it's really funny how Ace, my dog, refuses to look at me, like, while I'm changing. It's like, oh, it's privacy, you know? <laughs> the shutters in the image look different. So how was your day? I was alright. Oh, why is this not closed? What do these shutters do? I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is this what? I believe in you. You got this. I thought I, I thought I had it. Okay, so this camera, right hand side of the mirror, the two closest to the mirror are open. 
That is the way it currently is. I saw a video that came up on my recommended page on YouTube, and I didn't watch it because I didn't. The guy had like YouTuber face, and I didn't really care. But it was titled right. "Control: The Worst Eight Out of Ten Game I've Played." I love it. Huh. And I'm like, that is a fascinating way to describe control, and I almost kind of get it. <laughs> I... Am I stupid? <laughs> Maybe. I don't believe so. This camera's on the right hand side, but what's reflected. No, I don't. You know, one thing I think is funny about Remedy games is that, like, when they do have puzzles, there's no difficulty curve to them. They're, like, either easy or, hard, like, infuriating. Yeah, okay. What are, the, okay. what are the two orientations of doors? I'll just try them both. Um, two closest are open, or this is closed. Two closest open and two closest closed. Right okay. now, the two closest open are on this side. The two closest closed are on this side. So I will just swap them instead of thinking about it. something up. Yay! Although, if the rest of the puzzles are all faced like that, which seems possible, um, things aren't looking too good. I think this, in my, I, as far as I know, this is the hardest one in the game, I would say. What, this um, one that I just did, or in here? <laughs> yeah. Um, Alan Wake 2, one of their puzzles is a goddamn, like, algebra problem. It's like, it's one of those, like, number t uh, number X plus number Y equals blank, like, it's one of those ones. I just, yeah. Huh. And canonically, it is that to stop drunk people from being able to answer it. <laughs> Wait, that didn't sound right. <laughs> Yeah, that's not good. I'm sure it's fine. I'm gonna switch over to Discord to watch this real quick. Oh, yeah, hang on. Let me... I'm not actually streaming it on Discord right now. Oh, okay. No problem. There, now I am. Okay. Thank you. Did you send it to me? Oh, haha. I'm gonna leave the call and do something real quick so I can figure this out. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I can't just watch. I can't like watch the stream on my on my computer while calling you on the phone. So I just switch over to being on my mic. believe in you. Ah, I got what I wanted, but I don't know if it's actually the right code. <laughs> it is... Oh, wait, no, I didn't get what I wanted. Those are all the way filled in. Assuming that's even what I want.
That is apparently not what I want. Oh no! Unless it's inverted of that. No, 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 because there can't be. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so where is the actual? Very blue in here. Yeah. I love how control uses color. Like it uses it uses primarily red, but then like it does throw in the other primary colors occasionally, and then like gr occasionally green and stuff. I don't know. I just I'm not an artist. I'm not a visual artist like that, so I am not as good as talking about color theory. But it's it's very well done. I feel like it's supposed to be obvious. What if the code was on the other side of the mirror? <laughs> what if? Well, I can't go back right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not allowed back right now. was on the other side of the mirror, then I'm screwed. Hey! Um, what if maybe it's not in here? I hate leaving a puzzle unsolved. You don't have to be asking this in the air, it's very bad for doing it. Is that just the same thing? You don't have to be asking this in the air, it's very bad for doing it. Oh, wait, I should listen to that. Duh, because the guy will be talking normally. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you've been in there for longer than anyone else. What? I can't understand you. You need to listen. I saw something in there. There is something inside. You need to lock down the mirror. Why are you talking like that? What's wrong with you? All of you? There's something in that fucking mirror! Oh, that's unfortunate. Weirdly, and this is this is not me like subtly leading to a lore thing or anything. The mirror researcher, when she's talking backwards, sounds like Jesse's actress. What, what happened? What? I can't understand. It's your safety cage. Oh, it jiggles. <laughs> it knows to be afraid. <laughs> I do not trust these mannequins. <laughs> Let it just be known ahead of time. Did you see that? Someone's in there. Oh, it's me. Like anyone could understand that. I mean, it's not, but it's me. <laughs> it's gotten higher. It's 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 me wearing the outfit that I'm going to be wearing. Oh my god. I mean, I could probably just jump out of this, but I kind of just want to see how long this goes on for. <laughs> hey guys. Yeah, that doesn't sound like much. Alright. I guess I will interact with me. Hi. I noticed you don't have a card. I'm a Davy Sash I'm 
imagine that it won't let me leave here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No! Oh no! I framed. Real quick, would you like to, um, would you like to know what, um, it said was saying to you? What, huh? Oh, it said. Um, she was saying, testing, testing, can anyone hear me, or something like, I know she was saying testing, testing, and I believe it's, can anyone hear me? Huh. Oh. <gasps> oh! oh! Sorry, my mama sent me a, my mom is at hockey right now with my brother, and the baby I babysat for is there, and oh. he looked, he's so grown up! <laughs> That's not good. It's probably fine. Especially when she appears in the one with the broken glass. That one will be extra fine. Mm hmm I'm assuming that's where this is going. You know what she said there? Yes, I do. Um, I will explain it to you after the fight because it'll take a minute. <laughs> I mean... I knew, I, I guess there was going to be a fight, but I, that's technically a spoiler. God damn it. I, yeah, I realized it as soon as I said it. I assumed with the, I assumed that when it came to the broken glass, I was going to have to fight somebody with my abilities. And you're going to mm -hmm. get to watch me be very mad, like we talked about in Elden Ring. Yeah. I swear to God, if I watch you start fucking flying... <laughs> Oh, okay. She's just gonna break the glass herself. Good job. I got close. Good attempt. I'm going to step away for just a second. I'm going to mute myself.
Aww. Oh dear. Alright, so I guess that answers the question I was about to ask. Before I go back in. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? I betcha it just reversed. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to 100% check the the essay dialogue for you. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> so, is this the code? Is it just flipped and I just didn't think of it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you heard, but I facepalmed a little bit. You you what? I facepalm. Oh, face palm. I thought you said face melted. I'm like, what does that mean? In this context. Can I put in this code before I fight you? Thank you. <laughs> I assume she's just gonna be ready to fight this time because the mirror is red now. That's not flipped the wrong way. Shit. God damn it. No? No. Oh. Lied to me. I said, is that just the code? Is it just flipped and it didn't work? No. Oh. I tried it this way already. Mm hmm. That's. Yeah, that's the flipped. And it's only flipped across one axis. And it's the vertical. It's that one. It's only flipped like horizontally. Rather. I don't know. Give me a sec. I'll come back to I, it. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> Time for the fight. Oh, I know why. You did it the wrong way. Huh? You have to do it the other way. The mi the mirror, um, the, sorry. The one in the real world uh -huh. needs to, um, sorry. That one needs to be inputted in the real world. Oh, like that one? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice that there was a console in the real world. Okay. So this is right, and then that has to be put in the real world. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, next time I die. <laughs> also, um, you see, if you see any Newton's cradles, you should play with them. That's all I'll say. I know I saw someone, I just can't remember where. Oh, Ow, I forgot you did that. The good thing is, I don't, uh, you don't get, kicked, like, kicked out of the mirror world as soon as you beat her, so you don't have to, like, die to... Yeah, I'm a present for you. That really should have done my best. That's what I do too, and I, I've heard like someone explained it because they were talking about how their partner does that, and it was basically it comes down to patience. Like after a couple tries, you get less patient. Yeah. 
And the first time you do it, you are trying to learn to fight a bit more. Yeah. So you aren't always trying to attack, you're just trying to see what happens. Yeah, that's always been my struggle with Elder Ring, is I, I, I get so impatient, but getting impatient just makes it worse. Yeah. That was really the game they were talking about with Elden Ring. Yeah. Oh, it, 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 it's very, that, that pattern is very evident. Mm hmm. mirror up okay so one of the lines she says to you is she says i am much i'm much wilder than you that's the line she says right before she like disappears from behind the glass so are you familiar with the game quantum break i remember it coming out <laughs> i don't blame you for not being familiar with it it is in my opinion remedy's worst game um because not only is it a game it's part tv show i and do remember that yeah so, Courtney Hope, the actress who plays Jesse, plays a character in that game called Beth Wilder. Um, That's funny. And Quantum, if it weren't for the fact that Quantum Break is owned by Microsoft and not Remedy, because Remedy used to um, be a studio that was under Microsoft and they made it for them, um, Quantum Break would be canon in the universe. Huh. Um, but they can't do that, so, yeah. Um, it's a time travel game. It's not, it's not great. Um, but, like, they have a, a character, well, they have an actor who played the main character, Sean Ashmore. Funny enough, like, Iceman or whatever his name is from the X-Men movies. Um, huh. and Littlefinger from Game of Thrones are in it. Um, yeah, I'll talk about But, so, he plays a character in Alan Wake 2 called Tim Breaker. Um, and he is after a guy named Mr. He is very fascinated by this character named Warland Door or Mr. Door. Whereas in Quantum Break, the there was a character named, um, Hatch, um, played by the late Lance Reddick. And also, he was a character that can control time. And his name is Tim Breaker. Time Breaker. Yeah. That's yeah. Anyway, Threshold Kids. But yeah, it's a silly reference, but it's like... Yeah. Oh, that'd be funny if they if Quantum Break was canon. I think the worst universe would be worse off. But yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think you're happy that it's not. Oh yeah. I mean Alan Wake is referenced in Quantum Break and it's kind of weird because they definitely hadn't decided at that point if this was like another universe and this was just like a connection to that universe or if it was the same one. Uh -huh. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. The uh, stream is just having some issues. The I'm not seeing anything on my end. The bit rate just on the on the Twitch end or the Discord end? On the Twitch end. Weird. The bit rate just like dropped. Oh, it looks fine on my screen. I think it's back up now. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Threshold kids. Well, I will say the video is not playing on on your end, on Twitch's end. Oh. Oh no, it's just behind. Okay, that was it. Was really long delayed then. Okay, that might be having to do with. It's not, like, laggy or anything, though, is it? No, it was just a much longer, like, delay than I'm used to. Huh. 
So it was like long enough for me to think it was not working. Yeah. Okay. Since little Topher is taking a trip with his father into the world outside our wonderful bureau, I think it's a good time to talk about secrets. Who can tell me what a secret is? Uh, uh, oh, this is my favorite one, by the way. So they don't get scared. Partially correct, Topher. A secret is something you don't yeah, tell Yeah, the screen is like 25 seconds behind. Yeah, weird. Because people outside mm. the bureau... Aren't ready for the truth of reality. <laughs> Very good. When you tell someone a secret, you're hurting their brains very badly. <laughs> now, let's review what exactly is or isn't a secret. First, we have a rainbow. Secret or not secret? Not secret. Correct. And the true version of rainbows? Secret. Correct. Cats? Not secret. Correct. And the alpine chimera? Not secret. Ah, ah, Topher. Too many slip-ups and your father will have to go on vacation without you. You don't want to end up like Meg, do you? What? What happened to Meg? I'm not allowed to go outside anymore. Correct. Yay! Hey. Yay! <laughs> okay, why is... Yeah, my stream is... Okay. For some reason, oh. that... Th the Threshold Kids really made my stream upset. You know what? That seems so fitting. That's really funny. Cause, yeah. Um, my bitrate just popped back up from red and unstable to green. Wow. Hey, um, remember, Newton's Cradle. Yeah, where are they? I swear I saw them. Are they over here? Yeah. So you should make sure they're all going. <laughs> I'm sorry for kind of backseating you here, but I'm like... You, you'll want to know this, and you'll be upset if you don't. Uh, okay. Leave them all going? Yeah. And then maybe do the same thing on the other side. Huh. <sighs> oh, great. <Then> I, <laughs> I was like, let me just leave real quick. Yeah. I'm not in the world. I like the backward signs. Yeah, sting me out. I, I can kind of do the backward sound, but it's not accurate. <laughs> Some words are easier than others. What are doing with this thing? Now, the hiss is gone. It's dull. That's not what I wanted. Uh, I wanted case files. Mirror procedures. I'm gathering a mirror. 
No, I can't do it. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to do the backwards thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know who can do that? Chris Martin, the lead singer of Coldplay. Huh. Yeah. Like, weirdly well. Like, there was a video for this one song that he did where it was like, the whole thing was filmed in reverse, and he like, sang, he like, lip-synced backwards. Um, but he can actually like, talk like that. Occasionally. Wild. Yeah. What a weird talent for that dude to have. There it is. Oh wait, I can't, I can't interact with it. Oh. Yeah, it's not too, it's, don't worry about it. I don't understand this puzzle. Go play with the Newton's Cradles. Yay! And then go back? Uh, uh, go downstairs, I believe. Dune's cradles were what got you the outfit. Oh. Huh. Nice. There is the nearest control point. <laughs> You're like, I immediately have to go try this on. Please don't trigger a fight. I think it's over there. Look into the camera to get to this. <laughs> <laughs> They'll come out when they're ready. Oh. <laughs> they're still warm. That one's still warming up. <laughs> no, there's a sniper. This random encounter, no. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, God. Fuck. Man. Hey, 
anyway. Control point. No, where is it? Where's the... You, have, you gotta go to Central Executive. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. There's, like, only certain ones you can do it at. That is so cringe. Yeah. You know, it's... <laughs> it's funny. Watching you play this game is making me realize a lot of the flaws, of, like, more and more of the flaws of this game. <laughs> Not enough for me to game, be... But... Oh, yeah, I still think it's a great game, but, I mean, I will also say, I am never going to a Remedy game for the gameplay. <laughs> Except for, like, the Max Payne games, but, like, you go to Remedy games for the story, and if there's good gameplay, hey, that's a, that's a little extra. Not that they're, like, incapable of doing it. I think there are plenty of instances where it's, like, good, but, like, you know, mm -hmm. it's the small things that kind of add up. Oh, I have a funny Alan Wake TikTok to show you. Oh, like... God. Actually, what if I just send it to you right now? What if you just send it to me right now? <laughs> what if I pulled it up on the stream? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I downloaded it, so you don't even have to have a... You don't even have to have a link to the website. Oh, you know me so well. Well, you can only download some TikToks, unfortunately. Oh. It's, it's up to individual creators whether they want to allow downloads or not. Most mm. of them do, because I think it's on by default. But some people don't, because probably because they fear reposting. Yeah. Um, TikTok is a strange and foreign land to me, and I'm glad to keep it that way. Yeah. Occasionally, there's good stuff, though. I'm sure there is. No, I'm, 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 not, I'm not saying that as a way to convince you to get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, yeah. All right, it'll show up eventually. There it is, alright. I'm gonna watch it. I'm afraid. Oh, this is probably the rocket launcher. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Let's turn that down! <laughs> it is kind of loud. Good job, dude. <laughs> and correct. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. Shockingly, and I don't know how I have it. I mean, like, I kind of know the Alan Wake 2 dance. I have not done it yet. I have not, like, done it to be like, oh, can I do it? Huh. Shockingly. I have not done the Herald of Darkness dance. I think it's really funny that that dance was intended, like, there's a, well, there's a great interview with Sam Lake, where he's like, um, oh my god, I would like to, there we go, um, where he was asked, basically talked about, like, the process behind it, and he said, well, he's like, first of all, I wanted it to kind of be reminiscent of the actors, like, the calibrations that they do when they get in the mocap suit. But also, I wanted it to be something that I could do, because I am a terrible dancer. And Ilka is a terrible dancer, and he will tell you that. <laughs> Somebody's made this, right? There's no hmm? way this hasn't been cosplayed. Oh, yeah. This is, like, I, honestly... It's not, this is my second favorite outfit. I've got one more that I actually like a little bit more. That's just me, though. But this is, like, everyone's favorite outfit. It's good. Did you hear that the his prisoner they captured is the director's brother? Brother? And she brought him here? She's gonna get us all killed. What if she's working with the Hiss? Isn't it strange she showed up just when they did? Yeah. That is strange. You got something to say to me? Anyway. Anyway. See, I think I've got a couple other side quests to do. 
Uh, oh, I gotta check in on Moss Lady. I need to help the French guy. Whoops. <laughs> um, I don't really want to do the Drew right now. Um, I need to help his friends. I'll go help the French guy. My bad. I have a song stuck in my head. What song? You know. Oh, uh, sorry. I thought you said a song. <laughs> uh, I said the song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They released like um a full thirty minute version on Spotify. Gonna, I was gonna say, I is it really? To it. A I have not listened version? to it yet. Is is it just like the audio from the game sec the like, section of yes. the game that it's in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, what version do you want to listen to? The three minute version, the eight minute version, the thirteen minute version, or the thirty minute version? <laughs> I think it's so funny that the people who are like this is a legit band just pretending to be an in-universe band. Like I'm, I'm not a poets of the fall fan mainly just because that type of music isn't for me. But like, they're like, at least in Europe, like kind of well known. <laughs> huh. And the the in-universe band is Old Gods of Asgard, right? Yes. Yeah. Poets of the Fall is the sick name. Mm-hmm. Hey buddy. Let me know when the hiss are gone. I miss my desk. Can I not? You've already asked him all that. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Like I guess I just gotta go to the fridge guy. I thought, oh, I thought I had to talk to him and tell him the lockdown is over. Let's go help fridge guy now. No, he's asking you to go help fridge guy. He's not going to help you. I mean, yeah, and in his defense, like, he is likely to become, like, while the Hiss are attacking you, they're gonna try and corrupt him. She, she can't be corrupted by the Hiss. He can. Yeah, they'll try and steal his, uh, HRA. Yeah. <laughs> There's no bad guy somewhere. He's stretching. Once we're done with fridge guy, I'm gonna go get some food, so I'll be a couple minutes. Okay. Oh, it's over there. Oh, I see him. I would not describe Control as a Metroidvania, but it is really cool how there are some, like, Metroidvania elements in terms of traversal and how things yeah. open up. by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. So, yeah, I know him. I do have to I'll go ask him how to get you I out. just have to go yeah. back. 
Yeah. Sorry. My eyes. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and I think I can hold on for a bit. It's, it's my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. So if he, even if he blinks... Yes. Yeah. Like holy thing angel. A bit more serious than a weeping angel. I don't... You know what they do, right? Yeah! <laughs> kind of hard to get more serious. Well, like, a weeping angel will get closer if you blink it. Like, it doesn't automatically mean... You know. True. But also, at the distance he is from that fridge, a weeping angel would probably cover that in this day. I mean, yes. <laughs> that would've been unfortunate. It's gonna fail you one day. It has. <laughs> that means it never will again. The one time's already <laughs> happened. Things only happen once ever. <laughs> right? Like lightning. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Don't say losing it. Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. <laughs> He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's- Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. Look, Langston, you're great. I would not want you as my boss. <laughs> yeah, I can unlock or, it all I the time. Mean, at like a different job, sure. <laughs> not here. Door, not here. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have it's someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, man. And the hiss is? He doesn't know us very well. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. I feel like standard bureau procedure is a little bit... Oh! I was a little early on that one. I feel like standard bureau procedure is slightly suspended at the moment. <laughs> Shroom is a long ways behind. I get to watch myself die again. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Wee. Yeah, I'm definitely having some issues. Like, OBS is saying I'm dropping a lot of frames. Which seems okay. Things okay on Twitch in, but OBS is unhappy. OBS is always unhappy, it sounds like, from everyone. <laughs> Let me check Cat's Manager. I need a close in things. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Oh god, what? My CPU is at like 80% usage. <laughs> um Memory is pretty high up there too. I am going to close some Firefox tabs. <laughs> How many tabs do you have open, dude? Twelve. It's not okay. even that many. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's not. It's funny. I well used to be. I'm not. I don't do this as much anymore. I used to be infamous for having so many tabs open on my phone, but I would I would never have like more than four open on my computer. Mm. But also Discord, and OBS, and the game, and a couple other background things are running. Oh. Which are probably sapping some as well, but most of it is Firefox. At least it's not Chrome. I'm very happy you switched to Firefox. Which is 
gonna pin all these tabs so that they're- My brother refuses to switch to Firefox just because he's like, I don't like it. And I'm like, well, your ad blocker would work better on there. And he's like, what? I tell him all these things. And he's like, oh, that sounds cool. And I'm like, it's for Firefox. And he's like, oh, I don't want it. And he won't tell- he, like, won't give me a reason why. Huh. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it is- it is just better. Yeah. Uh, every now and then- Hashtag I... not sponsored. <laughs> every now and then I will, like, you know, we have, like, a, a smart thing plugged into the TV. And mm. so we'll watch YouTube on the TV every now and then. And, like, an ad will pop up and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, I have, like, just from ad blockers online, I have started getting mad at, like, commercials on TV. I'm like, what oh, the fuck is same, that? same, same. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I, I just, like, I haven't seen an ad on a device that I personally own in probably a few years now. Yeah, it's great. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I watch YouTube on my Firefox browser on my phone. Yeah. Same here. Oh my god, my mom does this thing. My mom, one of her more, like, v mom traits is she will tell me about funny commercials that she saw on TV. And I have eventually told her, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to hear this. I don't like commercials. I don't like how omnipresent they are in our lives. Um, which then prompted my brother to go, why did you need to stay omnipresent? Um, and now she, like, will do it to annoy me. I feel like that's a very mom thing to be like, oh, did you see this commercial? No, mom. <laughs> <laughs> if I was the one controlling the TV, the TV would be muted during the concert. And occasionally, I do that when I am in control of the TV. And my, my family finds it weird. Hello? Jesse? Jesse? The Frank is doing something! Philip? Philip? 
What happens if I just walk if I out look of the away, room? Oh, it okay, hurts me. It. I'm sorry, Kayla. I can't get out, and I can't look away. Maybe I can cleanse it. Royal Bridge. like the board but I can't understand it what the fuck my friend sir why are you friends with the big worm me yeah why not Why am I friends with anyone? Because I enjoy their company. Um. Well, that's just fucked up. You're just upset that you fell through the floor. Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> I pressed the dodge button and then it hit me anyway and then I immediately fell through the floor. There, there was no recourse. There was, there's nothing I could do. For one thing, if I dodged into a hole in the floor. But there was floor, and then it became hole, even though I tried to move off of it. I'm gonna go get some food, so I'll be back in a minute or two. Alright. Hello? Jesse? Jesse? The friend is doing something! Philip? I'm sorry, man. Philip? If I look away, it hurts me. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. What the fuck?
I love combat in this game so much, especially once you can fly. Or levitate, I guess is what they call it. Wait, there's no Black Pyramid here. Oh, there's not. Just that guy. Hi, former. The fridge seems fixed. I'm really glad you watched that one. <laughs> so, it's the previous, um, to use an inaccurate but good enough term, god of the astral plane. I would disagree. Why? Unless that's spoiler. Um, I mean, it's not official, but the way I view it in a lot of the communities is, is the f former is actually a former member of the board. Possibly, and I, will, yeah. I will say, um, I'm not going to go too further into it, mainly because, like, it's still, you know, theory stuff, um, but the former and the board gets, ex um, discussed a bit more in the DLC The Foundation. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I guess your theory isn't incorrect either. It just it kind of matters whether or not you view the board as one entity or many. And I, I mean, that could absolutely be, you know, bias in assuming, oh, it's called the board, so it must be many when it could be one, you know? It also refers to itself as us, but... The royal we exist, you know? And also, you know, apply human ideas whatever it is. Mm -hmm. It could be both individual and many. Yeah. Look at that um, hotline again. Yeah, it's a, it's, it is. A, it's, a, it's a previous something slash disappointment. Yeah, it is. Um, this whole thing with the former and the board is definitely some of my favorite lore in the game. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna and look world building. Quick look at that again. I should probably look at you know the other fucking hotlines too. Yeah, you really should. God, when I hover over them, the red goes away, even if I haven't watched them. That's annoying. Um, I have no idea which ones I've watched. <laughs> well, I know you watched, you know you watched the former. Yeah, I'm gonna look at it again. Yeah. yeah. And since they're so short, if you- it's not like you're wasting a lot of time if you accidentally watch one again. Former slash descent. It's back. It is previous slash disappointment. That- that is the thing that made me think that it was around mm -hmm. before the board. Is- it is- it is a disappointment. Because it has failed and the board is in control. 
but it yeah. is pre- it is both previous and disappointment. But I guess it could be previous member. Yeah, but that's also, how I and a lot of people take it. Yeah, but it also it doesn't say previous slash disappointment member, and it doesn't say is no longer part of us. It said is not part of us. So I I I definitely see the argument, but I'm not like convinced. I but... will say I I'm absolutely for the record. If you even if like. I think you will get more information that might make you come to my side a bit more. For the record, if you do not, that is absolutely yeah. fine. Yeah, I was going to say, for now, until I play the DLC, mm-hmm. I, I've, I've not seen anything convincing, but I definitely uh-huh. see the argument. Okay. Um, I think I watched the full one on the Asterix links. Well, that's from Trench. That's not from the board. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just... You, yes, I will say you did watch the full Ash Train Mage because I, I remember that. I remember telling you, watch that one. I think I <laughs> watched... very adamant. I think I watched the full of most of these. Mm-hmm. So, I'm, I can't remember if I watched this one. It was very short, so... It's only just a tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> I do find it interesting that it says the word menu. <laughs> yes. Um, what's up with that, huh? <laughs> Is the board aware? Is the board meta? <laughs> I, I don't know. That's one I can't tell you at all because I don't know myself. I'll keep an eye out for any more direct references to game elements. <laughs> There's, I will tell you, there's a couple in this game. Interesting. I do think it's very interesting how they refer to the Hiss as a foreign power. Uh-huh. Because... Although the FBC is so independent, and really the board is not inherently connected to the FBC, it's still a government thing. Yeah. I just, I really love that little detail. Mm-hmm. Well, and th- that one almost feels like, that specific wording is not necessarily what the board means, or at yeah. least what it thinks, but it's the best way for it to relate, us, relate it to us. Oh, absolutely. Which makes the use of menu even more interesting. Mm-hmm. It's like, who's it talking to? <laughs> that message felt a little less like it was meant for Jesse. <laughs> yeah. For example, the bureau, uh, sorry, the board says bureau slash house. Uh-huh. Now, I will tell you, the foundation gets into the oldest house and stuff and kind of some of the history, but I think it is fascinating that the bureau also refers to it, I'm sorry, not the bureau, the board also refers to it as house. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was there before the bureau. Mm-hmm. And maybe they didn't name it the oldest house, but either found something calling it that, or through paranatural means, just kind of all thought of it and thought it was an original thought. Mm-hmm. Sort of like one day somebody just called it the oldest house, and someone's like, "Yeah, that's a good name for it." And then everyone just sort of agreed. And- uh, yeah, this this game loves the idea of the collective unconsciousness and the idea yeah, of giving the yeah. names power. Like you notice in the game, the moment Jesse starts thinking about it being called the Hiss. Yeah, Everyone, yeah. Even, regardless of whether or not they talk to her, starts calling it the hiss. Uh huh. Yeah. So anyway, she she even mentions it. She says, "And just like that, my nickname becomes something." Mm-hmm. Oh, I just got um, over again. And like also, um, although the AWE DLC is my favorite for obvious reasons, uh-huh. um, the foundation <laughs> lore wise is really good, and you would love it. I I just yeah, okay. it's. It's got lore shit that you would love. I look forward to it. 
Well, you'll have to buy it, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Which, hey, I'll give you like the 10 or 20 bucks anyway. Hang on. What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart this one real quick. Okay. I, that's nice, because I wasn't paying attention. Another interesting, Another interesting whose idea was it first. Mm hmm Um, the board just said 665. Yeah. <laughs> also, oh, Labor of the okay. Beast. Will you play the, the, that one again? Because I didn't see it. Yeah, and I, I, I stopped it. it like halfway through. I'm just mm -hmm. keeping an eye on stream. Mm -hmm. OBS is acting like it's not working well, but we'll see. Well, it's just us here, so you know. <laughs> Slash you know, holders slash six six five. What is six six five? It's the neighbor of the beast. That's what objects of power are. They are neighbors of the beast. You know. Uh huh. And they, they hold something, the name mm -hmm. of the beast. Yeah. The but board, you know what's... They are not... They, they are, it's not the board's power. The board is controlling the power. Mm-hmm. Is what it just said. It said, we hold the reins. But that doesn't make it... Like, holding the reins of a horse does not make you the horse. Yeah. And it's interesting how you brought up, like, the collective unconscious thing. Only the director can talk to the board. Mm -hmm. So what kind of, you know, okay. obviously, obviously it would, but like, say hypothetically, Jesse had never watched this, this, the presentation that mentioned 665. Would the board still bring that up? Yeah. Like in a game, obviously it can't because they're not going to program it like that. But if we were in that world, you know. Right. Also, what, what, what? What did he say 665 in refer was it like a passcode for something? Yes, it was a passcode. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> mm. I think I might have actually watched this one, but <laughs> It's interesting that <laughs> there's one. Yep. Uh, it's interesting that most of the like slashed words are related words, like or related concepts, basically synonyms. Yeah, but I think also synonyms that are crucially distinct. Right. They they mean similar things, mm -hmm. but in they, context, they, they, yeah, they mean two separate. things that are true at the same time, but are not the same thing. Mm -hmm. However, the first slash in this message are things that, at least to the human concept, are direct opposites. Yeah. Independence and dependence. Yeah. So how does the board see that? You know. How does the board conceptualize free will and right? shit like that? <laughs> into it yeah we're really yeah this is where like the game really starts to get into lore and stuff and it's like i mean it would have been from the beginning if you were watching shit I, but i know <laughs> anyway anyway the game does need its main character it also yep. needs the player yep uh, uh, did you turn on the audio on something uh my <laughs> Oh, my monitor might be, my microphone might be picking up my monitor. Oh, yeah, no, I heard myself for a moment. Sorry, I'll turn it down a little bit. Okay. And the hiss. <laughs> uh, 
us capitalized being the board and also what? everyone else. Yeah. What's up with that? I also love that the board kind of messed up the phrase of shut them up. It said shut up them. Mm -hmm. Almost like it's not really familiar with it. Yeah. Are you having fun? <laughs> yes, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm really glad. <laughs> here, and I think there's nothing in here that we haven't seen. It's just I picked it up. Yeah. It is interesting that they are credited as poets of the fall here. <laughs> yeah, because I will say the, the old gods of Asgard are an in-game band that are they are characters that are not the band members and they are um, except for in parts where they're like younger and in their rocker days they're not portrayed by the members of the band they are only portrayed as the members of the band when they're in their young rocker when we see them like that you know mm -hmm. so so old gods of asgard is a real band that actually existed in this universe not just in alan wake's nightmare zone Yes, that is true. They are like kind of like one album wonders from the seventies. But Poets of the Fall, which is a band in our world, mm -hmm. is doing the music for them, but also is a band in this world, apparently. Yeah. Huh. Buddy, this isn't even like this isn't even the weirdest like oh, this I'm... exists in our world and, and in the game kind I'm of thing. Sure. Wait till you get too. <laughs> Until I see otherwise, I'm just gonna go with they changed their name slash it was a side project. <laughs> no, they're totally different people, like legit. <laughs> really? Yes, the old gods of Asgard, they're, they're, they're two dudes, you can, well, they're three dudes, you meet two of them, like, uh -huh. in the first game, and yeah. they're, like, two old guys named Tor and Odin Anderson. Oh. Okay, so what? oh yeah, because control is set. I don't know when. Modern-ish, more modern than the seventies. Control takes place in twenty nineteen, the year it came out. Okay, okay. And so, Poets yeah. of the Fall is a current band in twenty nineteen. Yes. Okay. Weird. And then the old got yeah. It's basically, it's <laughs> honestly not. I mean, I guess it is kind of weird, but for me, it's like, oh, that's nothing. But it, it really is just the actors exist in the game, but also, or, or like in the universe, the musicians exist in universe, but also they occasionally, in our universe, play that those characters, you know? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm drawing lines, but I guess there doesn't necessarily need to be a line there. They could just be separate people, and it's just they needed someone to do the music. They chose this yeah. band they've worked with before. <laughs> oh, yeah, they've been working with them since their very first game, because, like, the yeah. people who started the company are friends and stuff with the band. Um, like, yeah, I mean, there has been no indication that there is any sort of connection. Mm -hmm. Fair. How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. I love how the um, drapes on her chest oh, kind of look like buildings. You never did like fridge duty. Yeah, like almost but like the. If house. you're here, mm -hmm. then who's watching the fridge? Fridge. <laughs> the fridge is fine now. But if I'm over here, I took care of it. Really. <laughs> flying the airplane. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge. Had one big eye wasn't friendly we've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description the astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power not altered items if this thing is linking itself to altered items then it's clearly powerful it like it's creating this may happen again objects of power do you think that thing is what got philip must have been the panopticon is a dangerous place the agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. 
The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt him, but for some reason, astronaut only sounds like silly when he said it. I'm like, I've never laughed at that before, and then Lakes says it, and I'm like, <laughs> astronaut. <laughs> I do. I have I have some things that I don't have any answers to. I don't necessarily want answers to to just okay. speak. Um. So, the former. Is seems to be working. The board said it's working to set up an opposition, and that it, mm -hmm. it, it is telling someone, not me and not Philip, it seems, but it's telling someone. At least not me yet. It's telling someone lies. It, it, it's trying to recruit people. Uh huh. And it seems like it's possibly because it's linking to altered items. Maybe it's trying to create its own objects of power. But if the objects of power. If their power isn't from the board, the board is merely controlling that power. Is the former drawing from the same source, or is it drawing from another source? Are there four entities at play here? I love your questions, dude. <laughs> is it also drawing from, I'm just gonna call it 665? I... I want to laugh, but I don't know what you're trying to refer to, like, what concept you're referring to when you say that. Uh, when the when the board said that, like, the objects of power get their power from something slash 665. Mm-hmm. Like, so I'm just going to call this something okay, okay. getting the power from. The place where wherever yeah. they get their power from. Okay. Yeah. That's 665. Are, are the three entities here, 665, board, and the former, or is the former getting its power from something else? Not mm -hmm. God, that's, that's very interesting. <laughs> I wonder, I don't know. Are there are there any plans at all to continue? Like this story, like obviously all the stuff is in the same universe, but specifically like oh control, story. yeah. There's already they're working on a control two right now. Okay, wild theory. Unless, Go nuts. Unless this is directly disproven by the DLC, unless we deal with the former, there's going to be another organization or agency out there that is representing the former instead of the board. And that, that might be, like, the main, like, as the hiss is here, mm -hmm. maybe the former's agency in control, too. It's an interesting theory. That's, uh, gen that's genuinely something I can't comment on. Yeah, but we will see, I guess, if something happens in yeah. Foundation that will... I will say, the closest, the closest thing you will get to an answer, which is not an answer, but the closest thing you will get to that <laughs> is actually in the AWE D DLC. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. And, and then, of course, there's the thing that he's going through, <laughs> which is yeah. wildly different from anything else the Bureau's ever encountered. Mm-hmm. But it has nothing or to is it? I don't know. That's kind of a thing you have to play Alan Wake for. <laughs> yeah. And as far as I remember, slash I'm aware of, it doesn't really have anything particularly to do with him. He's not what's making it special. He's just experiencing it. I think. Maybe. No comment, mainly because I don't think I can say anything without it being spoilery. That's very fair. That is not, I will say, neutral on that. <laughs> okay, I guess maybe, not that it has yeah, nothing my to lack do with of... him, but, like, because clearly it's manifesting, from what I've seen, in ways that have a lot to do with him. Mm -hmm. But it's it's not caused by him. There is something that has latched onto him. He's not doing things, sort of. I don't know. 
I guess yeah, I'll get, I, yeah. I, I'll I get, get to that. I get what you're saying. I just can't, I can't, I don't know how to yeah. comment. And that right. is not me saying like, I can't comment because that's a confirmation of a spoiler or anything. Like it's genuinely like a, it's more I, complicated I can't. than a yes or no, but any answer yes, more complicated yes, than, exactly that. Yeah, but any answer more complicated than yes or no is a spoiler. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I mostly I'm just speaking words. We'll get to it. Dude, I am having so much fun listening to you, <laughs> just words, dude. I am, I'm so. Ha this is what I've been waiting for. This is what I've been waiting for with the control play. I'll see you later, Langston. <laughs> Sorry, I just I'll stared at you for a really like long always. time, Langston. <laughs> She's oh my like, god, have you seen in Alan Wake 2 how one of the characters has like a mind place? No, I'm not. Okay, so she so she has a, like a version of the heroine saga. She has a version of the mind palace technique that she does for cases and it's like where you do go to do the case board and stuff. But uh -huh. in the universe, like in the game, the outside world doesn't pause while you're doing that. So people have been like making jokes and like comics and stuff about like Saga Anderson just like blue screening for like 30 minutes and people being like is she okay <laughs> nah, don't worry she just does this yeah <laughs> Lacey just thinking like oh shit <laughs> it's just what we needed the director's <laughs> fucking losing it <laughs> okay um let's go check in with mold I've not done one of these. <laughs> yeah, fair. They just give you, like, materials and shit. I do have an upgrade for one of my guns that needs materials. If I don't get it in, a, like, a few regular missions, then I might. Yeah. But... Uh, oh, God, I need fucking eight. Ew. I guess I'll save up. I'll tell you this, dude. Um, I would recommend at this point investing a little bit more into like energy. I'm not saying you can't save up for what you want eventually. I'm just recommending because yeah. you're starting to get m into using more and more energy, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I am running out of energy fairly frequently. You know, it's funny, when I play this game, so normally when I play video games, I'm like, oh, I want to put my points in health, put my points in health and stuff. In this game, I do, like, two in health, and then I'm like, all right, cool, I'm done. That's all I need. <laughs> See, but as we have proven, I'm bad at the video game. I mean, yes, but, like, I even did that in, like, the beginning, like, when I first started playing it. I don't know. I just, I got, I got to, like, two levels in, and I'm like, that feels like enough, you know? You know what the one thing I haven't put any points into? Shield. <laughs> no one puts points in the shield. And I put one point into melee, and then I realized I was never using it, and I haven't put one in since, and I wish I could refund. You can reset your abilities. Where? Oh. There is a square. Fuck it. How far down was I? You were in there. Um, I would recommend. I will also tell you, you were two levels. I want to say in health. I'm letting you know that now, so that way you don't accidentally like get there and be like, "Oh God, my health bar is smaller." Yeah. How much was this? This one was only one. I don't know if that leaves me enough to actually get anything new. Um, I wanted levitation duration. Um, I don't use it that often. I'll wait to see if I have Oh, don't forget to do all your launch. You had a bunch of launch. Oh, yeah. And honestly, that one I want. These ones, I don't think I've ever really done. I've only launched bodies. So I will just not pick those up. Absolutely fair. That's what I do. That's how I play. But absolutely fair. I'm like, I agree with you. You don't do a lot of that. You, when they get low to health, you seize them. I never play with seas, so I'm always throwing them around. Mm -hmm. I'm realizing when it comes to video I'm a very, um, unless I am playing, like, a more stealth-oriented game, I'm very much an attacker. I, do, I don't, I don't do a lot of defense. Yeah, and then not going down this fucking tree gave me a lot of extra. 
Yes. So I can actually grab my full launch damage and my multi launch. Um, grab. Wait, wait, this one was four. Grab even more energy. Um, and then probably grab either. You've only got one thing left. I would recommend yeah. next one um, saving up for another thing of levitate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to grab either levitate or health next. Mm -hmm. Although, I guess the last energy is only two. We'll see where I mean, I, We'll see how many I have next time I Yeah, you're it. getting multiple at a time. Yeah. So, why don't you do this? Maybe a, little, maybe a little bit more impressive if they didn't all catch on the cliff. Yeah, so I can't... It seems like I can't hit multiple targets at once. Maybe. Yeah, it seems like they just all launch. Yeah. They're, I'll tell you, that it's really good for, like, um, covering a larger amount of ground. That's what it's really good for. Oh, hey. Really like, you can't, you can't aim at multiple targets, but depending on how close they are, you can hit, definitely hit at multiple targets. I found a new lore. New lore! Get well, balloon. Yucky. Huh. Gross. That, wait, wait, wait. That one was uh, acquired in 2004. That balloon is two years younger than me. Huh. Funny. That's just, yeah, that's just a silly thing to think about. It might have been a closer point but I'm not sure. No, the one was upstairs, remember? Yeah. I finished synthesizing the samples. I remember because you got so mad during the game like when you had to do that fight. <laughs> Ingest this pill, then go and find the source of the mold. Only then oh. can we begin to understand how to stop it. So you promise I won't end up walking around covered in mold? Oh, the pill will prevent any biological infection by the mold. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. All right. Great idea, Jesse. She's not that rude. Oh, She's mildly honestly, abrasive did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Job. She's just autistic. The smell. Right. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the source. Right, because the mold is, mold is supposed to smell, and the fact that it's been smelling good is a bad thing. Yes, because that means you're more likely to eat it. Yeah. No legit. Anyway, about Underhill. Like, people are Thanks like, for the oh, she's so mean, and I'm like, literally, yeah, she yeah. and Darling are just the two opposite sides of the autism coin, and you guys just don't like one of those sides. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, where's the pit? Is it in the mold zone? Is it in here? Yeah, I think so. Okay. It does say research slash attack. Are you guys back? No? Huh. Okay. This must be the pit Underhill was talking about. Oh, yeah. Intentionally, but you can't attack like Yes, I just sorry. 
You can, but like the game auto selects for you, and it's kind of like based on being in the same range. Yeah, but that 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 is, that is yeah what I want. Okay. Sorry, I explained that really badly right here. No, you're good. It's one of those learn by doing things. Yeah. Then I'm really bad at explaining learn by doing shit. Ramsey, Ranger Captain, Note Seven Point Two Five. Underhill sent us down this weird-ass threshold looking for whatever's making all these vegetables sprout. I will say this. Do you know what a vegetable is? It smells delicious. Those look like hearts on the wall. Over here? Oh, uh, where the mold comes from. The spores, yeah. Yeah, a little bit, I guess. Vaguely. Yeah. They're both kind of shaped like hearts, but also they look like a match between the shape, like a love heart shape and an anatomical heart. Yeah. I don't think that's a war thing, I just think that's what they look like. You guys are definitely a little high level. Next. That's probably fine though. I love how they wander and wobble. I got it. I got the guy. Oh. Okay, they connect. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Holy fuck! That did a lot of damage. Hey, you want to kill your friend real quick? No. <laughs> okay. Hey, do you want to go kill your friend? Oh, he, he, oh, he's coming back. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, God. And there's one behind me. <laughs> he literally just, like, bitch slapped him and died. <laughs> I oh love... my god, I just looked at my health bar. <laughs> yeah. I love Cheeto Puffs so much. <laughs> like, Cheetos in general are fine, but I love the puffy ones. Thanks, friend. He died. Problem is, I'm definitely not taking another hit. <laughs> like, considering how much damage that did. You're down. Okay. If that keeps going and over here. That's why I only think about because like between this and Hollow Knight and some other games, I okay. I honestly really love when games like the fighting gameplay of a game has the whole like to be able to heal you have to attack, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. And very offensive. But I think it's funny because I feel like that's a terrible thing if you're not good at the game. Right. Uh, Bloodborne has that. Bloodborne I, Bloodborne kinda has that. Oh yeah. actually yes, no, you have to get the blood vials again, yeah. Well, uh, well, also, like, like a certain amount of health can be immediately healed if you, yes. if you immediately hit him back. Yeah. I just think it's funny because it's like, oh, man, I'd probably suck at Bloodborne. Although, who knows? Maybe maybe I wouldn't. It's very different from other forms off games, you know? He's just like, oh. Same as always. Okay. I'm so sorry if my Cheetos are picking up on your side. They haven't been, have they? No. Okay, thank God. <laughs> gonna... No, not your guy! Ah. Oh. We're gonna listen. 
fucking mannequin. I was like, what the fuck? I also thought that was a person at first. <laughs> How are you not mold? We're gonna listen to this audio file, grab this control point, and save, and then I think that's gonna be it for the stream. Okay, cool. We got the funny outfit, did a lot of theorizing, mm -hmm. saw a fridge guy die, and started. We made progress. Place. Yeah. Ramsey, Ranger Captain, note 7.28. Uh, wait, uh, 6, 7, uh, whatever. Still in the threshold. Ollie's straight up eating the vegetables now, because, well, why not? Ollie! Eat your vegetables. Eat too many and your skittle turn green. Green like Ollie's. <laughs> hey, Ollie, what'd you find out? I'm sure he's fine. He's losing it a little bit. Yeah. Which is funny because he hasn't even eaten any of the mold yet. I, at least according to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Did those binders just appear? Or did they move and I just now noticed them? I think they moved. <laughs> Hang on. Let me look at stream. <laughs> Stream so far behind. Do do do. Okay, the message just oh. ended. Not for me, weirdly enough. How oh, weird. Okay, claim the control point. Oh, nope, two binders just spawned in. <laughs> oh shit! Okay! Wild. Weird! Okay. I mean, here's the thing: is it, it was not out of the question that I would have just not seen them until they moved. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I did have to check. <laughs> I feel like there's sometimes when you claim a control point, there's like papers going over. I wonder if those papers genuinely aren't there, and it's like an effect. And to do that, they have to spawn something in or something. I don't know. I don't know. Weird. Fucking mannequin, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Honestly, maybe I should not continue. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't save while off the cliff's edge. Well, no, I'm saying like maybe I shouldn't finish this quest the next time I come back, considering how strong these guys have been. I mean, fair. I might want to wait. Ramsey, Guy, shut up, Ramsey. Uh, wait, uh, six, seven, okay. Uh, whatever. Still in yeah, the... why don't you just go to Central Exec and then you can figure Fresh out mold. where you want to go in the future. Yeah, whoa, 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 uh, okay. I'll be straight up eating the vegetables now, because... Uh... God, she was so far behind. I don't see more than 30 seconds now. Or maybe not, I don't know. You know, OBS is saying it's dropping a lot of frames, so I don't know. I don't know either. It doesn't look particularly choppy. Stream side. Yes, we... I mean, when I have it being like, um, when I had it set to the setting to be like 1080p, 60 from source, uh -huh. it was a bit more choppy. So maybe if it's not, you know, maybe it really just is on your end. Yeah, I don't know. But like, even like my stream doesn't look super choppy. Yeah. Like, it's dropping a bunch of frames. It... Genuinely, it could just be OBS freaking out and lying to you. Yeah. But I still much prefer OBS to um, whatever the other one is called. One that's made by Streamlabs. Mm, I, I want to know. Because <laughs> you know what OBS stands for? No. It stands for Open Broadcasting Software because it is open source. It does not cost any money. Um, its code is freely available and therefore very easy to develop add-ons for. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it is a fully open source program. Um, whereas the Streamlabs made one is a little bit sleeker in UI, but 
I think that it. I think it's also free, but maybe with some paid features, and also any yeah. and all add-ons have to be like approved, and like usually are made by the company. Well, since OBS is open source, I guess we don't have to say hashtag not sponsored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a lot of like. Obviously, open source comes with its own issues, being that people can fuck with it. Like, there's some. You should not be downloading, like, OBS add-ons from just any and everywhere. Oh, yeah. But it means that there are OBS add-ons everywhere for everything, and you can you can do a lot more with it a lot easier. Mm hmm It's almost, I guess, like, iPhone to Android comparison. If you use them uh -huh. at the base level functionality, they're basically identical, but Android has a much deeper ability. Yeah. The way most people use OBS, they'd be fine with Streamlabs. But the way some people use OBS, they would want to rip out their hair using stream maps. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, um, <laughs> I, I was going to end stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got sidetracked. Um, I had a lot of fun. I had a great time. Of course, nobody joins the lore stream. It's fine, whatever. <laughs> Hopefully... Hopefully I can come up with a witty title next time. <laughs> did, did you see the title of the stream? I did, yeah, you thought you ran out of adjectives. Yeah, because it, it was spooky brutalism, spookier, and the spookiest. And then I said I ran out of increasing. We gotta, we gotta start a new one. We should do creepier, like we should do creepy, creepier, creepiest now. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I better hurry up with this playthrough. I'm gonna run out of adjectives. I will come up with something. Yeah, You're talking it. to someone who almost considered going into being an English major. This is true. <laughs> that yeah. makes me that makes me an authority on everything. Obviously. <laughs> um, just just like me, it's attending. Well, just like me being in the in the grounds of the college for a semester and a half of engineering class makes me certified to build a bridge. Yep. I was gonna say attending a semester and a half, but I didn't even do that. I was just. <laughs> in the college yeah <laughs> i was on campus <laughs> um yeah all right <laughs> keep getting sidetracked from ending the stream <laughs> well okay. i'll say if there are any potential vod watchers thank you for watching yes um and uh i will be back at four next saturday and hopefully for the regular full four-hour stream, Ooh. make even more progress. Um, and, and I'll be there, too. <laughs> it's just a matter of what time I join in. <laughs> all VODs will be uploaded either Saturday night or some point on Sunday. If you check by the end of the day Sunday, they will be there. It just kind of when I get to it. Yep. Uh, but yeah, that is all. Cool. See people next stream. <laughs>